Welcome back to another episode of Real Glow Talk. Smash that like button cause my man's glow finna spit some real shit to you guys. Without further ado welcome Mr. Drip that sauce everywhere you go Mr. Take Yo Ho The Chicago Kid. Yo Toe, it's your boy, Mr. Drip that sauce everywhere I go. Mr. Take Yo Ho, Big Honcho Glow. The Chicago Glow. Kid it on back here another banger video, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to a new episode of Real Glow Talk. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving y'all five simple steps on how to approach women. So if you're new to the channel, sit back, relax, get out your pen and pad and take some notes, man. Put this in your memoirs. I am dropping a video on my Patreon, 10 tips on how to slide in the girl's DM. It's on Patreon, link in the description. Every man has to learn how to approach women and strike up a conversation because it's the starting point of all relationships. Approaching a woman for the first time, you gotta approach her with confidence, my boy. The three C's, cocky, conceited, confident. Now, a lot of people might say being cocky and conceited is doing too much, no. There's nothing wrong with that. That just means you got so much belief in yourself. So how exactly should you go about approaching women? You need to take time to observe her. You need to observe the perimeter. It's about talking to women, and I know how to do that because I observe because I am a novelist. What? You never told me that before. Take like five minutes to do this, four to five minutes to do this. You need to make sure that she's not distracted by anything. Uh, if she's talking on the phone, don't approach her. But basically, before you make that approach, you need to find out does she have a welcoming vibe before you approach. Timing is key. Timing will make the difference between a successful approach and a failure approach. Once you establish that she's free and doesn't look busy, the next thing you need to do is make eye contact with her and smile. Even if she's like across the room or close to you, regardless where she at in the room in the perimeter, you gotta make eye contact. Don't waste your time. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you look good though. Don't look like no bummy. Make sure your presence is looking good that day before you do any type of approaching. That's 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 number one, okay? Now I know what y'all thinking, Glow, why would I smile and make eye contact before I make the approach? You wanna do this because you want her to acknowledge your presence first. It removes the elements of surprise when you eventually approach her. Cause if she see you peeping her, she gonna keep you back. Like, okay, who this, boy? Who this nigga looking at me? He my own son. You damn right here. You damn. <laughs> This is what you gotta understand, bro. Most women are already apprehensive about getting approached. The eye contact and smile disarms them by making you appear more friendly. It's like preparing a turkey on Thanksgiving. Then you gotta preheat the oven before you stick the turkey in the. The turkey gonna cook faster because you already got the right temperature set from the get-go. Now, when you look at her, right, you wanna wait till she make eye contact with you. And then once she make eye contact with you, right, you wanna hold that eye contact contact for a few seconds until she breaks eye contact with you. Once you already made that eye contact, most women will double back. She gonna spin the block to see if you still looking at her. Important that you smile and it's not just stare at her. You gotta smile, my nigga. Cause if you don't smile and you just Don't be a creep though, don't be a creep. Now, step number three. You drop your nuts, my nigga, and you make the approach, okay? Go plant that seed, man. Plant it with your finger. You So you already made the eye contact, and maybe she even smiled back at you when she did it. Wish she did, my nigga, trust and believe. That's a great sign of interest, my nigga. But like I said, make sure your presence is on game that day, okay? Make sure you looking flea, you smelling good, nigga. You got, you got your Vaseline on, Gucci cologne. I don't know what you like to use, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure your hygiene straight that day. You need to approach her immediately because you don't want to seem too thirsty and just get up right away after y'all just make I say give it probably like three, four, five minutes tops. If you seem hesitant on approaching her, you gonna risk looking like a wussy, like a lame, like a Buford, like a peon. You need to show her that you're decisive. I know what you're thinking, bro. I get nervous when I approach women. I get—I don't know what to say. I, you know, I, 
I get, I just, oh my God, this is a big thing for me. Okay, the problem most men have is they don't know how to talk to women. If you feel nervous, calm your nerves by taking a couple of deep breaths. Look, it's normal to feel anxious, but you have to remember whatever happens, happens. The, at the end of the day, that's you. That's just you getting better. You practicing. You want to keep any negative thought about her rejecting you before you approach out of your mind. Because once you think negative thoughts before you make the approach, you already lost. He ain't lying. So have a positive mindset. You gotta manifest as, as if she's already yours. I'm gonna give y'all some little tips on what you need to do on that actual approach. I got y'all. Tip number one: You need to walk tall and confident. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Here with one of these. Shoulder up. You know what I'm saying? Let your arms hang to the side. You know what I'm saying? You can walk with two hands in your pocket. Or you can hit it with that little bird man walk. Fuck it's <laughs> it. Tip number two, like I just showed y'all. Walk with some swag, bro. Bounce with it. Bounce with it. Bounce with it. Nice little boom. Hey, sweetheart. What's your name? You know what I'm saying? My name is Lil. I saw you from a distance and I'm comprehending your beauty today. What's up? Just like that. And she gonna laugh. And you, and you make her laugh, you end up. Tip number three. This is one of the most important tips for this one, okay? You need to approach her from either the front, the side, but never from behind. Approaching a woman from the behind, you can come off as a stranger and threatening. Step number four, you got to start the conversation. You know what my problem is? I am not interesting. What am I supposed to say? I went to magic camp. I'm an accomplished ventriloquist. Oh, I am a seventh degree imperial yo-yo master. <gasps> oh, do me, yo-yo master. I want you to do me, cause you're the yo-yo guy. Step number one, I told you, you gotta, you gotta observe her in the perimeter. You wanna have in your head some uh, conversation starters all ready to go. You don't wanna walk up there just winging it. Goal is for step number four, you, you want to connect with her on a deeply emotional level and create a instant attraction. Remember what I said about observing the environment. You can use the, the surroundings that you observe and use that to a conversation starter. There's four different approaches to starting a conversation. You know what I'm saying? You got the direct approach. That's when you just, you know, you walk up, introduce yourself. I say something like, hi, my name is Glow. Do you mind if I join you for a quick second? It's simple and direct. Context is key. Then you got the second approach, which is the compliment. Starting with a compliment sets a positive interaction straight away. Just cause you didn't know all women love compliments, okay? They love to get their head gas, my nigga. He ain't lying. Just make sure that the compliment is very genuine. For example, if you at a club or some or or some type of fancy event and she's wearing a dress or sundress, not that ass some nigga. Ugh. And you can say something like, that's a really lovely, beautiful dress that you wearing. Just like that. And she gonna go. Trust me. The third approach, I kind of call this like the finesse approach. And that approach is asking for help. You can say something like, do you know where to get good coffee around here? I'm new to this area. Or do you know where the mall at? Whole time, you know where to find good coffee. You know where to find the mall and good clothes to shop at. That's just the icebreaker for the conversation. It allows you to build the conversation from there after she tells you where the destination is at. Now the fifth low tip approach. This is my favorite, this is my go-to. And it's the humor approach. I'm pretty sure you didn't hear from a lot of YouTubers. If you can make a girl laugh and giggle, you can make that ass clap and jiggle. He ain't lying. That's not no funny shit. That's not no false shit. That is real life. Starting a conversation with humor can lighten up the mood. You gotta make sure that you actually have something funny to say. Girls love funny dudes. If you can make a girl laugh, you can make a girl forget about all her problems. She's gonna look up, she's gonna look at you as a person that can make her happy, make her laugh. A person she can have a good time with. Okay. Step number five, you did the four different approaches on her. You gassing her up. She's feeling that vibe, right? Now step number five is when you get the number. I try, you see that bitch over there? I see her. Now that's a lady. I bet you I get her number. Nigga, you ain't getting nobody's number. Fool, watch me. Hey, sweetheart. Break yourself! Give me your goddamn number. Come on. Hurry up, come on. You secure the bag, my nigga. Now, a woman will only give you her number if she's feeling you, if she's feeling the vibe. She has to feel some type of attraction towards you. She has to feel comfortable around you. You know what I'm saying? She needs to enjoy the conversations and interact within the conversations with you in order for her to give you her number. 
when you make that approach, right, you don't want to spend a whole day talking to a nigga. Hell no. Nah. And I feel like that's where some of y'all like kind of fail sometimes. Cause you make the approach, you know what you're doing, but you talk to her for too long. So you don't want to seem thirsty like that, my nigga. This is your first time meeting her. You want to get her number and get the fuck out of her. Then you hit her with the, you know, it's been great talking to you. It would be nice if we can hang out sometime, get to know each other more, and I get your number. And boom, she gonna give you the number. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, I'm gonna give you a call about five o'clock, all right? Sit, all right? Yeah, yeah. All right, sweetheart. Take care of yourself, all right? I told you I'd get the number. But one thing you need to know, if she's feeling hesitant and lukewarm about you, ask if you can add her on social media. Because some girls don't like giving out their numbers to niggas they don't know. She might want to get to know you on social media. So ask her for her Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, <laughs> Twitter, where, you know, whatever it is that you use. You know, ask her, can you get it? She will for sure, for sure, off rip, give you the social media. I think every girl will give you their social media before they give you the number. True, true. When y'all having a conversation, you made the approach and you talking to her about you, don't disclose too much information about you. And don't lie about yourself. Cause if she has you on Instagram or Facebook and all these things, and you know, she gonna go through your pictures and shit, she gonna see the type of person you is, you feel me? And you know, social media don't show all the true characters of a, of a person, but it shows some, you know what I'm saying? So make sure your yo, Instagram, whatever, is clean. Just make sure your shit clean and, and somewhat presentable for her to fuck with you. Whether she give you the phone number or Instagram, you know what I'm saying? You get it, you say nice, it was nice talking to you, it was nice to meet you. I look forward to talking and seeing you again, sweetheart, type shit, and then you going about your business, you know what I'm saying? Now she gonna be looking at you the whole night, my nigga, no cap. After you didn't make your approach, got the number or the, or the Instagram, you want to make less eye contact with her. Now she's going to be looking at you type shit. Or before you get in the car, uh, tell her you're going to hit her up before when you get to the house. DM her. If you want to learn how to slide in a girl's DM on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever, social media, period. Click the link in the description. Join my Patreon. I do have two videos up. I just dropped a video, how to slide in a girl's DMs. 10 tips. I got y'all. So that's it for episode of Real Glow Talk. I appreciate every single one of y'all that tuned in and watched. Thank you for hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, bro, hit that subscribe button. Boy, don't just watch and not subscribe. What's wrong with you? I hope you have a peace pause day. Peace pause tonight. Take yourself to the bath water because we don't do no more. Man, at least it's chill, but she got it bad. Tell us about jacuzzi, dude. I love y'all, boys. Yeah.